The Children's Advocate is based at the office of the Ombudsman. The Children's Advocate represents and defends all children in Namibia and guarantees the confidentiality of all complainants. Joining me now from Rwanda via Zoom is Advocate Ingrid Disselman, who is the Children's Advocate at the office of the Ombudsman. Good morning, Advocate Disselman. Good morning, Jesne. How are you? I'm very good. It's nice and warm in Rwanda. I understand it's very cold in Namibia. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, let's start. What is the role of the children's advocate? Because children are especially vulnerable because of their age and the stages of development, the Child Care and Protection Act is uh, put in uh, the role of the children's advocate in the office of the ombudsman in order to assist the ombudsman with his duties, which is the promotion and the protection of children's rights. And part of that is receiving and investigating complaints from any source, including children, about children who receive services under the Child Care and Protection Act or really any other law. That's interesting. Um, what happens once a case is investigated? Once the case is investigated, sometimes the children's advocate will issue a formal report and make recommendations. But really, mostly what we do is we listen to all of the parties and we, then we try and reach um, solutions through mediation or negotiations, um, but always um, try and come to a, um, a solution that's in the best interest of the particular child or children in general. Okay. Um, Advocate Disselman, today we celebrate the Day of the African Child. What are examples of the complaints involving minors that your office handles? Sometimes we get complaints about administrative issues like um, the Ministry of Home Affairs taking a really long time to issue a child with a birth certificate or the children's court proceedings taking unreasonably long or sometimes we get complaints about social workers not um, providing um, their reports on time to the children's court um, and then sometimes we get um, complaints relating to violation of children's rights um, like we for instance have received complaints about racism in schools and corporal punishment being um, practiced in schools. That is terrible. Um, Advocate, the theme mm -hmm. of the theme for the Day of the African Child 2022 is eliminating harmful practices affecting children, progress on policy and practice since 2013. How does your office's mandate relate to this theme? Well, this theme really involves an issue of child protection. And because part of the children's advocate job is to monitor the implementation of the Child Care and Protection Act, and also to raise awareness about the Child Care and Protection Act, as well as child protection generally, um, this theme fits nicely in there. And so we wanna take this opportunity to, to advocate for the widespread involvement of community leaders, grassroots organizations, anybody really in the, in the law making process and in the implementation process, because when everybody's involved, you can bring about real societal change. Um, because otherwise, what's going to happen is that cultural pra harmful practices will just move underground outside of the, the public domain, and that will make child protection so much harder. Mm. Um, can you tell us what policies and practices have been adopted to protect children? Um, and what more needs to be done to effectively eliminate harmful practices affecting children in Namibia? Well, the Child Care and Protection Act is exactly what must be done. Um, so, it, what, it, what it currently says is that, it, that pra social um, practices that are detrimental to the well-being of children is prohibited. But it does not define what that is. Um, and with the exception of child marriage, which is expressly prohibited. So what must still be done is that the minister responsible for gender must have consultations um, with community leaders and really what it says is interested parties, which in my view are children, mm -hmm. very many children. 
um, to hear their views in order to then come up um, with a number of harmful practices and then put that in a law and then make it um, a crime to commit those towards children. Okay. Um, the Day of the African Child provides an occasion for governments, UN agencies, NGOs and other relevant stakeholders to renew their ongoing engagement towards the protection and assistance of children affected by harmful practices through specific activities and programs to prevent, protect and assist children who are at risk and victims of harmful practices. How is the Office of the Ombudsman observing the day today? The Ombudsman released a media statement today in which he asked specifically for government to strengthen the legal framework. And the reason for that is because the legal framework is really the foundation um, on which we need to start um, preventing and addressing harmful practices and in, 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 in that way protect those who are at risk. What is your message to the youth today as we observe the Day of the African Child? My message to them is that they must remember that the, the reason why we're celebrating this day, which is the Soweto uprisings in 1976, were well, because children and young people decided to make their voices heard to demand um, for better education in their own language. And so my reminder to the youth today is then that they must use, they must remember that they have voices and that they must use those voices. And children um, must be very, very active participants in bringing about societal change. Yeah. Thank you very much for the interview, Advocate Hesselman. You're more than welcome, Jason. Have a nice day. Thank you. Okay, and that was Advocate Ingrid Dieselman. The children's advocate in the office of the Ombudsman, talking to us about the role her office plays in the protecting of children.